step onto it. There you are. Let's hurry. I should be able to form a path to the center. The stone stream. To think of the dwarves who built this device and all that they knew. There it is. I've never been this close. It's sad that we must put it to rest. This will take a few moments and all of my focus. Sentinels! They won't stop until I hot the stone stream. Keep them back! More sentinels, just like the ones in the chapter house. It's like trying to hold back a river. I'm trying. They draw their life from the stone stream. All we can do is hold them back. It's beginning to stop! Just a little while longer. We must buy Phineas time. Press the attack. I need to rest a while. Go on, quickly. I'll be safe here. Phineas did it, didn't he? The fans have stopped, which means that the well is going to be a dangerous place very soon. Unfortunately, it won't be soon enough. Jane's army broke through and her men are storming into the bedrock. Lord Devonsey and his soldiers are holding them off. Help them buy us some time to get our explosives ready. Then we'll send those bastards to Azanai.
The royalists are fighting below. Maybe we fight for Queen Rosalind. <laughs> 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 You're safe. Look, down there. We held the high ground, but they're pushing us back. My soldiers need your help. You can take the floating platform to the bottom. Thanks to you, we still have our cannons from the swamp. We'll use them to cover you until Roderick signals us all to retreat. Do whatever you can to delay Jane's army. We need more time for the vapors to build up at the bottom of the well. Already fell, but not enough to burn. Not yet. My Lady Jane Cassinder calls Parley. Lower your weapons. We've come here to talk. I would know who leads my enemy's army. Tell me, what- My father was Hugh Montbaron, Grand Master of the Legion. You murdered him in the Mornwield. And the girl? The one who stands with you? Why does an Archon fight against her own kind? Be silent, traitor. You and your handmaids are no blood of mine. Legionnaires, my lady. Perhaps the same ones who slaughtered Rishani. Is that so? You killed my handmaid in Raven's Rill. I shouldn't be surprised. Violence has always been the Legion's way. Ever since Hugh Montbaron murdered the... What did we do to earn your hate? It couldn't have been the death of some distant king. Some distant king? Yes, he must seem so to you. The old king. The man your legion sought to murder and displace. He was my father. And your mother? Who was she? An Archon. One of the last of her kind. Granted shelter and solace by my father. What if I take you at your word? Can we negotiate a truce? I will spare the life of my niece. If she agrees to live out her life in seclusion, any remote monastery will do. She may choose as she likes. But a truce with the Legion? No. Never. I have heard the voices of my mother's lost gods. On this day, they will grant me victory over you and the Pretender Queen. This parley is finished. Remain here, and you will be slain. Try to run, and I will hunt you down. We shall not speak again. Something is coming. Something very large.
monument to the might of the Tenth Legion. But it seemed a Pyrrhic victory as the Azunite army pushed into the deep well. Hundreds of soldiers poured from the tunnels, easily outnumbering the Royalist forces. You and your allies fled before them, but this was not the defeat it might have seemed. Without the stone stream to refresh it, the air in the deep well was a seething cauldron of explosive gas, awaiting the merest spark. That spark the Royalists were all too happy to provide. The explosion collapsed the well, entombing the Azunites beneath the mountain and shattering Jane Cassinder's hopes of destroying the Queen. Would that Cassinder herself had been buried there, along with her men. But such an end was not her fate. Jane's army is fleeing down the mountain. The woman lives, but we're safe from her. For now. The victory is yours. We owe the Legion our lives. I'm told that Jane spoke to you. She mentioned the old king, no doubt. I need to know what really happened. All the facts, no matter how shameful. Jane Kisinda spoke the truth, as far as she understands it. The commanders of the Legion did conspire to unseat the old king. The goal was never to murder the old king, only to replace him with his eldest son. But the king resisted, and the matter went awry. You must understand. My grandfather was a monster. If the king was a monster, then they were right to remove him. Yes, that was exactly what Hugh Montbaron said. The old king was prone to paranoia, irrational rages. He'd grown jealous of the Legion. We were too rich and too strong for his taste. Before long, he started seizing our chapter houses and estates, threatening... If they didn't mean to harm the king, then why was he slain? I wasn't there when it happened, but I'm told that the king drew a sword. The man wasn't much of a fighter, more a danger to himself than the legionnaires. Who knows how he ended up with a blade in his gut. Jane told me something else. She said that she was the king's illegitimate daughter. Ah, the old rumors. I can't say for sure, but I am inclined to believe them. Jane Cassinda shares my blood? What else have you not told me, Lord Devonsey? The woman lost her father. Her family betrayed her. That doesn't excuse what she's done, but at least now I understand. I would ask one more favor of the Legion. Should you meet her again, will you spare Jane Cassinda's life? If she's willing to surrender, I'll let Jane live. Lord Devonsey will surely chastise me for my gentle nature, but I am sure this is the right course. Whatever happens, the Legion has my trust and support. I shall send riders to all the towns and villages that support the Queen with news of our alliance. You have the word of the Royal Court. All Western Ebb will stand united behind the Legion. Come a long way from that filthy swamp, haven't we? You've given us a victory that will be remembered for years to come. Escorting you to the causeway is the least that we can do. Are you ready to go? Yes, let's head to the causeway.
We've had rumors of another battle. Is it true? Jane Cassinda's army retreating in disarray? She is beaten. The only misfortune is that Jane herself survived. And Rosalind? What did you think of her? Worthy to wear the crown or no? She has a kind and temperate nature, but I saw some iron underneath. I think she'll make a good queen. Kind and temperate is a far cry from her grandfather. Perhaps this exile has been a blessing for her family after all. What about our proposal? Does she favor the Legion? Roslyn agreed to an alliance. She and Devonsey gave their word. Well done. But that's not all, is it? My father tried to unseat the old king. The murder was an accident, but Devonsey said... No more. I don't want to hear. You think I hadn't guessed it was something like that? We won't speak of it then. Better this... Jane Cassinda is the daughter of the old king. She told me herself. You never knew? I always thought that was just a rumor. This changes things. If Jane Cassinda is the old king's daughter, then she has a claim to the throne. Probably thinks it's her right. Better to strike now while she's off balance. Jane must have a stronghold, and it's probably well guarded. We need an army of our own. What forces can we raise quickly enough before Jane has a chance to recover? Stonebridge can field an army of automatons if need be. If we can seal an alliance with them, they might be willing to help us again. That's another reason to win the Meister's support. The Meisters have always avoided taking sides. No profit for them, getting embroiled in a war. I agree. Our chances may be slim, but it's still worth a try. I'll speak to you. Be advised. Free the Krug! Free the Krug! Rejoice! The Meisters have concluded! Ah, half a minute there. You came from the Chapter House, did you not? Tell me, is it true? Has the Legion returned? Only a few of us. But yes, we've reclaimed the old Chapter House. Ha! Let them laugh at me now! My I'm here to address the Meisters. We want to propose an alliance against Jane Cassinda. An alliance? That'll be tricky business. I can force them to give you a hearing, at least. I'll warn you, though, they're scared. Scared of Jane Cassinda and her armies. Scared that we'll lose our Republic if she takes the city by force. And scared of other things, too. I'm ready to address the mice. 
Capital, I shall go on ahead and announce you. Gentlemen and goblins, order. Council recognizes the envoy from the 10th Legion. Meister Wolf tells us that you propose an alliance. Perhaps our colleague forgot to emphasize how deeply we value our neutrality. A war with Jane Cassinder would risk the very life of our Republic. The Royal Army is destroyed. It's only a matter of time before Jane Cassinder turns against you. Let us help protect your city. A fair point. We are reasonable fellows, and we know that Jane Cassinder looks upon Stonebridge with covetous eyes. Nonetheless, you can understand why some in the city might fear the Legion's return. Countless Legionnaires were murdered in our streets. People might think that you've come to seek revenge. Forget the past. Those murders are thirty years gone. We came here to reconcile, not for revenge. Words alone are unlikely to sway our good citizens. Perhaps if we form a committee, study the problem for several months or a year. Nonsense! The Legion is no threat. There's far more dangerous things in this city if you would only open your eyes. Ah, our colleague again speaks of the dapper old gent, no doubt. Indeed, sir, I do. You think that the trouble in the Foundry is not the work of the gent? Wolf, you didn't say anything about the Foundry before. Bad business. The Foundry supplies power to all of Stonebridge, but now it's gone silent, and no one knows why. Uh, Meister Wolf, let us not turn aside from the matter at hand. We owe the Legion our vote. No, wait. That hardly seems fair. Force a vote now, and it will assuredly go against the Legion. I propose a recess. Let us each speak privately to the Legionnaires, so that we can reach an informed and in- Sounds like a reasonable idea. We agree. Indeed, well spoken, Meister Mudgutter. Any objections? None? Council declares a recess. Ah, so the Legion has come looking for my vote. These are perilous times, but I forget my manners. I am Rorik Castle. An alliance with the Legion would help protect Stonebridge. If times are as perilous as you say, then your city needs friends. If you wish to be of service, there is a certain problem that requires attention. The Foundry is presently overrun. It's the blasted Cyclopses. We'll take care of these Cyclopses, if you'll pledge your vote to the Legion. Fine, fine, it's a deal. Speak to my foreman, Mr. Snell, at the Foundry. Ah, yes. I was wondering when you'd come and harass me. Let's get right to the point. Well, you could help me alphabetize court documents, but a better use of your talents would be to help me with an investigation. Normally, I'd have Wolf handle the situation. If this is the price for your support, I accept. Just tell me what you need. So, the matter at hand. We've had numerous reports of masked individuals hauling automatons into the crypts under the city. Whatever their aim, they are slowly eroding our defenses. If someone was to... Mm, enter the crypts and purge them of these criminals... Consider it done. We'll be back when we've dealt with these criminals. Well then... Greetings, Legionnaire. If you've come to win my vote, don't bother. So that's that. Now, if you need some little task to occupy your time, or... Why are you so eager to dismiss the Legion? I trust the Legion. What I don't trust is this city. It has a dark history with the Legion. Personally, I wish you great success in restoring the Legion. Are you sure there's nothing we can do to win your vote? At the moment, no. But worry not. Now, I do have a task or two for you. It's not going to win over my vote, but I would find a way to repay your efforts. 
Long ago, the Legion served as the mediator of first and last resort. That's all? I thought you might have wanted us to slay something for you. Your first task is to handle a situation with a prisoner of ours, a Krug. He has no crimes charged against him, but his fate is dispute. Many argue he's safer in prison. Others want him free. He's here in the Meisterhall's jail. Make your inquiries there, then tell the automaton who presides over the jail what you've decided. <laughs> it's hardly dragon slaying, but if you're true to the Legion, you'll have time for small matters. Go on now. Ah, the envoy from the Legion. Yes. What can we do to win your vote? An alliance will benefit... Hmm, there's that word again. You won't think ill of me, I hope, if I express a certain degree of... But I shall respect the wishes of the other Meister. You were elected to lead the city? By a popular vote of almost 70%. Not counting the automaton. Our mayor is elected from among the Meisters. We put an end to all that auto... I won't... In... I'd like to speak to the Krug prisoner. Fiddlewick asked me to appraise the situation. Very well. It is Meister Fiddlewick's prerogative to entrust such decisions to strangers rather than automated constables with decades of experience. Please note that the Krug has been in prison for its own safety. Kerr. Do you want to go free? Kerr. Kerr. Can you understand what I'm saying? <coughs> ah, yes. Sorry about that. I've been having a terrible bout of phlegm lately. Yes, I can understand you perfectly. Why wouldn't I? Just promise me you won't do that thing where you talk slower and louder. <coughs> You're pretty well spoken for a Krug. A Krug? <coughs> yeah, I guess that's what people think I am. People seem to think you're a Krug. Why haven't you said something and corrected this situation? I'm tired of being harassed and assaulted. This time I decided I'd let them think I'm a monster and keep me locked up. <laughs> I've thought about getting out of here, but I have nowhere to go. I'm content to just stay here and daydream. I have to decide whether you stay or go free. <laughs> well, I suppose I've committed no crime, unless being hideous is illegal. But if it's all the same to you, I'm safe here. Let them go on thinking I'm a Krug. It won't hurt my feelings. Welcome back, Legionnaire. What? Can you tell me a little about... What do you need to know? That... Take... Do you want to go? Kerr. 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 Free the Krug! Free the Krug! Not so fast, Legion! Meister Castle asked us to end the work stoppage in the foundry.
a second. If you could do me a fate. Last thing I need is to have the Sweatcog brand name lose its immaculate reputation for safe. We'll take care of it. Just tell us where it is. Excellent. You'll find the automaton on the other side of town. Just uh, try to deal with it before it causes too much trouble. Ah, good. I thought I'd find you here. You see, I've been archiving the history of the 10th Legion in Stonebridge. Go on. What kind of research do you mean? I've studied the event of the local Legion's demise. The riots. I've kept track of many looters and killers that profited on that day. Some who looted the Chapter House proudly displayed their ill-gotten gains. Well, I have kept track of these pompous criminals, especially the ones who insisted they'd be buried. Those artifacts belong to the Legion. I'll do whatever it takes to get them back. I've assembled a list of graves that should contain stolen property. Here, take my notes. A shame no one confronted these looters while they lived. the stolen automatons, but where are they being sent and why? We are again a thieves. My daughter was right. A mechanical bridge. It must be controlled by that lever. Someone has rebuilt those automatons, and now they follow the thieves. Oh, my God. 
done. Now let's find the Master Thief before he slips away.
I spent a small fortune hiring every cut purse, foot pad, and ruffian this side of Rukenval. By order of the Meisters, and in the name of the Legion, you're under arrest. Surrender now and come quietly. Hmm. The certainty of being executed by the city, or the possibility of being killed by some righteous vigilantes? I'll choose the latter. I've met my match. Spare my life, and I'll go quietly. If you tell us what you've been doing down here, the Meisters might not hang you. The dapper old gent hired us to abscond with the city's automatons. We tear them up, turn them over to the gent, he pays us good coin. I guess he's selling the damn things on the black market, but it's none of my affair. It's hard to carry those metal brutes very far. One more question. How do I find the dapper old gent? <laughs> Best of luck to you, friend. He's like a ghost. My man will trail him to a dead-end alley, and like that, he'll be gone. Constables will be coming to arrest you. If you try to run, we'll hunt you down. Did you see? That thief showed no fear of prison, even though he will certainly hang. must be sure that something will happen, and someone will set him free. Victory! Uh, uh, uh. 